Let's now look at balancing redox re uh, reactions in basic solution. And while there are step-by-step -step methods to doing this, it's a lot easier on your brain to just do everything in acidic solution and then replace the H pluses with OH minuses instead, uh, as we'll see in this example. Let's balance this in basic condition. And how we're going to do this, as I have just mentioned, is first balance an acidic. So same as we went. So first step, therefore, identify your half reactions. And this will be an easier problem for us. <clears throat> so we have copper turning into copper 2 plus. We have nitrate turning into nitrogen dioxide. Hopefully we can see that. Next up, we want to balance all non-oxygen, non non-hydrogen elements. Those are already balanced. So let's move on to step three. Let's add waters to both sides to balance oxygen. First one, we're good to go. Next one is missing uh, a water, or rather it's missing an oxygen. So let's add a water. In order to balance out those hydrogens, we're going to need to add some to the other side. And now we're going to need to balance the electrons. So we're going to add two electrons to the top reaction to balance it out. And it uh, looks like we have plus one on the left, nothing on the right. So we're going to need one electron. Uh, put electron turns into uh, NO2 plus water. Great, so we have balanced our half reactions. What we want to do now is we're going to want to add hydroxide uh, to cancel out the H pluses. We're going to pretend we didn't use H plus, although it's a lot easier to balance with H plus. So now, conditions, for basic conditions, we're going to add OH minus to cancel all H plus. And we're adding to both sides. So if we have the first half reaction, nobody doesn't matter. There's no hydrogens or oxygens in there. It's easy. However, if we want to get rid of those H pluses, we know we need to put in the same number of hydroxides, right? If we do that, if we add two hydroxides to both sides, this now becomes two waters. So really, we have two waters plus nitrate plus the electron turns into the NO2 in water. And since we have that water there, we can get rid of it and get rid of one of our waters now. Get rid of that extra plus. So a little bit messy, maybe we should rewrite things here. Our first reaction, nothing changes, so I'm going to just keep that up there. What we did here is we're going to have one water plus the nitrate plus a single electron turns to NO2 plus 2OH minus. And we should note that all of our oxygen and hydrogen should still all be balanced. Uh, we just wanted to make things as kind of neat as possible before we add these together. And it looks like here we're going to need two of that second equation so that our electrons cancel out. And uh, we can go ahead and add them now. So we have copper plus two waters plus two nitrates. I'm not going to write our um, electrons because we we know they're going to cancel out. So we'll just kind of skip that step. We're going to make the copper two plus plus the NO2 plus, oops plus two NO2s, since we had to multiply that equation by two, plus four OH minus. And uh, now we should see everything should be nicely balanced, uh, and we will have our answer. If we wanted to take that previous uh, complex equation, we didn't balance it in uh, acidic or basic conditions instead, let's pretend we did that. 
we can take the very uh, last one and work on that too. So at any point, usually we do this in the half reactions before we add them together, but if you want, you can solve the complete balancing and then add the hydroxides. So uh, if we have the hydroxides instead, we're going to add 14 OH minus to both sides. Remember that this together will make 14 waters. Since we have seven waters here, we're going to uh, remove seven waters there. And that's all we need to do. Everything else stays the same. Two manganese, two plus, plus seven waters, plus five of these bismuth thingies. Two permanganates, five bismuth three ions, plus 14 hydroxides. And so uh, that's how you would balance that one in basic conditions as well. So you can uh, do this kind of fix uh, at any point uh, during the balancing, although typically it is done at the half reaction step before you add the two half reactions together. So uh, with that, we will have our completely balanced equation now. Uh, and we'll have our answer. So this will be in basic conditions versus our, our, our original problem that we did last video was in acidic conditions. With basic conditions, we, we are just going to be adding hydroxide uh, at the end or at the half reaction step to get rid of H plus so that now it's in basic conditions instead. And so uh, we see that it is slightly different. As a result, we end up producing some base instead of requiring acid. To be made. So uh, that's the difference here. All right, and so that is uh, the entirety of balancing redox reactions.